Hello beautiful Sagittarius. Welcome to Divine Empowerment. My name is Joanne and I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed, liked, commented, and shared the videos. Much love, much gratitude. And if you're new to the channel, I do special gift giveaways with every 100 subscribers. The next drawing is at 800 and it's for this beautiful geode pendant. I have linked the metaphysical properties below in the description, so please check that out. And if you're new to the channel also too, make sure you tap the bell because I do live psychic readings and live tarot readings. This way you're notified and you can come and ask me questions. And I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has purchased the Akashic Reading and Clearing Level 1 Soul Realignment and the Manifestation Blueprint Activations and the Divine Soul Blueprint Activations. Much love, much gratitude. And if you're new to the channel, you can definitely check that video out it's in the description below. It's Introduction to the Akashic Records and Soul Realignment. Much love. Now Sagittarius, I have already pre-dealt the reading, but I have not looked at the main reading. I am looking at the overall energy. And the first card that comes up is Justice at 11. And I feel like for a lot of you, especially um, for those that are single, right, or even in relationships, I feel like a lot of you are receiving twin flame activations at this time. And it's really got you heightened. It's got your awareness very in height, heightened. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's definitely, and for those of you that are already on your twin flame journey, I feel like this energy is really... Um, bringing you guys into alignment right with your higher selves with your spirit guide team i feel like you're receiving a lot of messages right but for the majority of you it is brand new twin flame activation so you may want to check those videos out and then i get obstacles and challenges some of you are just so focused on what isn't going right <laughs> Especially if you're already in a twin flame journey, it sometimes feels like there's just too much to overcome. So you definitely want to check out the Akashic work. Um, the reading and clearing work, it really removes those obstacles for you. And then I get seven of wands. It does kind of have you feeling, Sagittarius, like you're backed up in a corner right now. Like the whole universe is not working with you. It's working against you. All right. So that is a matter of perspective. And it is a matter of focus on what's going right and not on the obstacles and challenges. All right. So now I'm going to get into the main reading here. Yes. Yes. And just that statement alone, I get Ace of Air. It is about looking at things from a different perspective. Focus on the positive things. Focus on what's going right at this time. And then that's going to pull you through this convergence energy. And it's going to propel you forward into triumphant and success. And then Page of Swords. <laughs> You're definitely going to feel more positive than you felt in many years. Right? Um, definitely getting through this whole like convergence energy so please check out my video it's convert full moon convergence energy it's really affecting all signs at this time wow yes and it is receiving that call that call to for a more for higher path and purpose at this time as you hear this call coming in you want to answer the call right and it is spiritual union. I get the two. Spiritual union. Especially for twin flames that are in separation. Focus on coming into spiritual union before physical union at this time. And do this through meditation, right? Through dream state. Astral project projection. Um, and there's definitely a lot of great guidance meditations out there to achieve both. Let's see, moving forward, Messenger of Earth. <laughs> yes, for those of you in separation, you're definitely going to be getting messages from your twin flames very soon. And it is focusing on that spiritual union in the astrals that will bring that into that physical 
experience. And for those of you that are new, um, that are just now being activated, you're definitely going to start having synchronicity with other souls that are going to help you propel you on and prepare you <laughs> for this journey. And then I get fulfillment of wishes in the spiritual realm. It's like once you get into that emotional, spiritual union, the fulfillment of wishes just shows up. It's almost like, <laughs> I don't know, opening a window to the heavens and they just rain down blessings on you. And then temperance. It is, it does require patience, right? Because when things are in the spiritual realm and they're not in the physical realm, you don't get that instant gratification. So be patient, Sagittarius. Be patient. And then I get, oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. I get Ace of Water. <laughs> It's like you're meant for success, right? You will succeed in love, especially. This whole message to me has been nothing but love, love, love. It's like you've been struck by a cupid, right? And then I get the heart chakra, the four. Remember, anytime you go into separation, you have to recreate a foundation. Four. Four is that foundation number. And then once you get into your heart center, into that heart chakra space, make sure that you're communicating from that space, Sagittarius. And then I get two of swords, right? Some of you will feel like walking away. It's almost like you have two options. Which one is best? Which one's easier? Which one's harder? Which one do I want? Which one do I not want? That's a good question, Sagittarius. 